Hi guys, welcome back to, I think attempt number five, four, five, six. I'm losing track to be honest with you. Uh, we are back in the, way, the Toyota. Almost ending up the wrong way, coming out of the bus stop chicane. Look at the gap there, that's, that is mental. Uh, oh, outbreaking quite a bit there. Everybody's struggling to get the power down. So yeah, so attempt number, I think it's number five. I'm losing track. Uh, of daily race C, group one at Spa, P5, uh, haven't binned it yet by the looks of things, he uh, is ghosted at the moment, half set and penalty to be served by P4, P3, he goes for a send, I've outbraked a little bit there, quite badly actually, oh Jesus, this guy not hanging about there, I was very slow through there. Oh, what's he doing? What's his crack? Oh, come on. It would be, wouldn't it? Really? I'm just sort of trying to stay out of this guy's way because he obviously isn't wanting to hang about too much. Oh, yeah. Little shunt from behind there, why not? So I did have an attempt uh, of this race in the Audi um, VGT, but it went so horrifically wrong and it was just, it wasn't even worth uh, putting out there. Um, we, got, uh, we got spun off in the, into turn one, into the first uh, corner. Um, and everything else just sort of followed suit, getting punted there. Midway around the chicane. Get a decent launch away there though. Right, I'm going to try not to outbreak this time. A little bit closer, but still not the best. Right, so both of us, P. Uh, six there. Ourselves and P6 serving a one second um, penalty. So we are, oh, I was going to say we're going to lose a couple of places, but P8 looks like he's serving a penalty as well as everyone else behind him. <laughs> Righty, oh then. But the chap behind me there who wasn't serving a penalty made up a few places, it's going to be right on our tail as well. So losing a bit of time in P6 there, he's definitely uh, quicker around this track than me. This guy going for a bit of a savage lunge speed on that thing. Bloody hell. We get the switch back though, power down, and away we go. Look at that. Jobs are good. Man. Some brutal defending uh, going on by him as well. Oh, Jesus, really? And we're going to get pushed out wide there as well. Tremendous. But look at the launch that we get there. That's crazy. That hybrid system. That glorious electric battery doing us proud. He's got a much better run. And obviously got the power on the top end.
So I think I'm actually going to go same strategy this time as uh, the last race. And, uh, ooh. Pit at the end of this lap. Go for a savagely huge undercut on the rest of the grid. Possibly try and make up a few places. Now, it worked the last time round because we did this from the back. And we went in really, really early into the pits from the back of the grid. Um, whether or not it works in the middle of the grid, well, I guess we're about to find out. But we could end up, uh, when we come out of the pits, end up in quite a bit of traffic. We hit very lucky. We obviously pit from the back, so we're not really going to end up in traffic. And by the time we caught up, those guys were all pitting. So we very much had 12, we made up 12 places, but we we, bit, we didn't even pass anybody on, on the actual track. So it'll be interesting to see whether this uh, a similar sort of strategy pays off. We're going to go for it nonetheless. Not the best entry into the pit lane, that's for sure. So someone else doing the same strategy there. Getting at the end of lap three here, getting off the mediums. So we come out 40 seconds off the lead. And 10 seconds off the next position. But to be fair, we've not ended up in a massive amount of traffic. It does look like P17's made a mistake though. So we're catching up to him rather quickly. Fifteen coming out of the pits there. The undercut has worked on him. P14 up for grabs now. Gonna be right on the back of him. And in the slipstream maybe, but he is gonna pull away. That must be the Audi that he's in. Slightly uh, benefits from the top end. Dirt yeah, it doesn't half throw us off though. How exactly he's managed to bin it, other than just outbreaking it, I presume. Running a little bit wide there. So up into P14. Now we're starting to hit on a touch of traffic. We've got uh, one guy up the front here, and just around a couple hundred yards up in front of him. P12 as well.
right in the slipstream. Gonna break a little bit earlier. Then it pays off. We're right on the back of him now. P12 going into the pits. Honest with you, with that livery on, I really can't quite tell uh, what car that is that he's even in. But I'm presuming that it must be the Audi because you've seen there how I still had a bit of power to go once I got up into third and fourth gear, and he just had absolutely none. And we both got away exactly the same sort of speed. It's right in our slipstream now, though. Side by side. Oh, he's decided to push us wide there. He's got a penalty as well anyways. But yeah, I presume that it must be the Audi based on uh, the power disadvantage that he had out of the bus stop. Ooh-hee, chicane. And the same here. have to try and force the mistake a little bit. Not exactly wanting to be racing side by side. Break a little bit earlier. Now's our chance to get a better run. Haven't come off the power. He's really starting to hold us up. Here we go, we can pull out of the side now. And all that fighting has caused this chap behind get in the mix. And we've outbraked ever so slightly. Did we get the switch back? He was diving into the pits after all of that. Wow. We're up into P4, here we go. Podium could be on for us yet. It's not, it's not two guys coming out of the pits there. P3 and P4 were right on the back of uh, the Belgian, German, Belgian. Ooh Up onto the Camel straight then. Using my wires. See, we're just starting to gain there in the slipstream a little bit. Going to break really, really early. and begins then. Just going to try and look after those uh, front tyres a little bit more. So the only thing that I can really hope for here is that P5 having or being so close to uh, P4 gets really, really affected by a lack of downforce. Possibly go, oh, -ho! that may have been the mistake that we wanted. Although I could have done with them making it a little bit later. Because now I'm the one that's going to be making the mistakes through uh, being in the slipstream. Going to break a lot earlier. Spot a little gap, we're on the inside, there we go. Lovely stuff, I think he's almost binned it there. The timing board then in a debate where itself as to in a debate with itself as to where I am on the grid there. It was third, it's now back to fourth. Right, can we get a podium then? We've got a bit of time to make up, we've got one second to make up yet. Can we do it? Can we do it? I'm going to be a little bit quicker in the corners, by the looks of things I'm guessing he's in the Audi. Could have braked a lot later there. 
I say though, I'm going to start catching up in the corners here. You see that straight away, two tenths gained. Just have so much more power coming out of the corners. Two tenths gained, but two tenths lost. Seems though that that undercut strategy really does work. To be up to P4, start at P7, or P8, P7, P8. That's a mistake we did not want to make. I braked a little bit too early there. Up to Eau Rouge, around through Radion. Are we going to manage to gain the time? I really don't think we are. Had we have managed to gain a little bit and stay in the slipstream, I really thought I would have gained a bit more than uh, I did do in that middle sector. Let's see if we can make, up the, make it up this time round. Perhaps he is in the same car, really. The way he was pulling away, though, on the straights, I think, definitely seemed like it was the Audi. wide there, he may have had to come off the power just to make sure he didn't uh, make a mistake. Right, can we get into that sort of three quarters of a second to a second uh, spot? Three quarters to get the slipstream, but maybe just within a second to get a little bit more pressure put on. He has made a mistake, so have we though, we've outbraked as well. Right on the back of him now, right on the back of him, seven tenths. This is exciting stuff, this is exciting stuff. This is the one. I'm gonna have the slipstream up through Radion, up into Eau Rouge and on the back straight, Kennel straight. Here we go, here we go. Are we gonna get the move done? I think you may just start pulling away. Gonna be right on the back of him though, heading into this corner. We're not quite gonna have it. Oh sorry buddy. Sorry buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I've got the penalty, I've got the penalty. Ah, just pull well don't break test, mate. I mean that's it was an accident. It was good racing up until then. Ah very annoying that. I feel though the race is on now though, so we can, you know, I've gave the place back, we can carry on racing. The right, issue that I had is that when I went back behind him, I just lost all downforce. But I've given the place back. And then we restart, reset, and carry on. So as long as I can build a second gap here, 
I would argue that that is a fairly enough one uh, race, but I don't think we're going to. I think he's going to be within that gap. I feel like he's going to attempt to absolutely ram me off the road here. Had he been close enough. Let's give him the place back. There we go. You can't say fairer than that. We'll still take P4. We would have had P4 anyway. Uh, with the penalty. We give him the place back. Make him, make him feel like we've done it on our own accord. Really close race that, but really, really gutted about that. Uh, into that braking zone there. Um, should have either stayed on the inside or just stayed where I was, braked a little bit earlier. Because um, it's hard to say whether or not it looked as if he was going to make the corner. I do think he would have done though, I don't think that we had already put enough pressure on for him to outbreak or anything like that. Or maybe we would have done because we were gaining quite a bit on that slipstream, in the slipstream. But P4, I'll take that. Starting from P8, we've gained uh, a few positions all off the back. Uh, of that undercut, and so that's pretty much my strategy moving forward. I think, <laughs> I think that's pretty much going to be it. Um, possibly do one more, uh, one more race, and I think what I will do is I will try and improve a little bit uh, on my qualifying time because there's definitely a, at least a few tenths to come out of that. Um, I would, uh, I would imagine. I would imagine definitely a few tenths to come out of it in terms of the car. Uh, but whether or not I can do that um, is, you know, yet to be discovered. Speedy Grandpa, thank you. There you go, he says thank you. I say that was a good race. I'm sorry. But I think it was fair to, you know, have got the overtake. We could have carried on there. Gave him the place back. You know what I mean? Let him let him run on for a bit. Make sure that he didn't, you know, we didn't um, gain the place as a result of you know even hitting him, giving the place back, and then quickly trying to um, to jump back in and get a, get a jump while he was sort of getting himself back together, reset and whatnot. But um, yeah, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. We'll take that then. P4, not a bad result. Really hope uh, you enjoyed that race as much as I did. Uh, and there is plenty more on the way, plenty more on the channel. Uh, we're attempting the daily races every week uh, and we'll be attempting, as we will have seen there as well, Nations Cup, Manufacturers Cup, the uh, Toyota uh, GT Cup as well, which I'm uh, quite enjoying and excited about. Uh, plenty more on the way. All the more reason to subscribe uh, so that you do not miss future videos. In the meantime, though, I shall see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way to supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.